now that Kanashira is defeated. We can just go on about our daily lives, can't we, Morgana? Yeah. And we already checked out the news, if I remember correctly. So today, we're just gonna study. Now listen up. What do you wanna do? Since you know, it's rainy weather. Might as well. Wow. I know Morgana, it's almost like we're utilizing stat buffs that we can only get during rain. Crazy, right? I know. Anyway, um, yeah. Oh, I should turn this off, actually. Uh, I like having it on now that it's not dark. It's still weird doing this when it's not dark. That month got me. Anyway. Well, then. Let's get on with it. Might as well. That Kaneshiro truly was an evil stain on society. Yeah, he wasn't the best. I need it lightly. Same with Kamoshida and Matarame too. They hurt and exploited others just to satisfy their desires. Yeah, kind of sucks, right? But I mean, still, there were people around them who noticed their terrible deeds, weren't there? There have to be. Like we did what we could, but we're not everybody, Morgana. I wonder why they turned a blind eye. Why doesn't anyone help? Yeah, they probably want to, but I don't know. I can't speak for everyone. Have the courage? Humans are so weak. Well, why do you want to be one of us so bad, huh? Humans. Hey, do you think I'll really be able to become a human? When uh... I touched the treasure, some memories came back. I tried to force myself to forget, but I really may not be human. What? What were your memories? And just be confident. I don't know if you really are or not. I don't know. Possible. It's possible. Do you think you're talking to? Now that I think about it, I gotta be human. I am the core of the Phantom Thieves, after all. I think that's me, Morgana. But I'll let this one slide, you know. And yeah, since we beat Kanashiro, we get pickpocket. Chance to obtain an item when Joker performs a melee attack. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but we literally had to do nothing besides beat Kanashiro to get this, so not too big of a deal. All right. Come on, it's not good for you to stay up this late. Let's go to sleep. Okay. Do we? Never mind. <laughs> oh boy. We beat a boss, you know what that means, everybody. Whoa. God, what if we woke up and just read, yep, another fusion alarm. Our master wishes to speak with you. Heed his words. You've defeated the repulsive fiend of gluttony this time. <laughs> well done. Thanks, but I, I don't know if you mean that. You're laughing. I am glad to see you have devoted yourself to your rehabilitation. You are not worthy of such kind words, inmate. I suggest you treasure them. I'm definitely... I am worthy, okay? Do you recall the whispers about that strange man? Yeah, somebody in a black mask or something. Um, yeah, the other metaverse user. Yeah. Even a chicken could remember something that important. Don't sound so cocky about it. Get it? Chicken? Cock. Caroline likes dad jokes. Good job, Caroline. You have some redeeming traits, it seems. This is about the cases of those people who shut down, is it not? Indeed. I speak of another with powers similar to yours. If you are to complete your rehabilitation, you may encounter him eventually. So it's a dude? Or is he just saying that, like, oh yeah, you might encounter them eventually, whatever, like, it has to be a guy, right? Yet another thing for me to look forward to. 
It would be greatly troubling if you were to not strengthen your abilities. Yeah, I don't think we could beat the game if we kept our personas right now. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Thanks, Mr. Big Nose. I appreciate it. Um, higher conibers increases the XP bonus granted by our Okay. That's right. kinda helpful. Refusing whenever we do it again. Return to your world. Okay, see ya. Have fun uh, being in this prison 24-7, except when I take you out. Jesus. What do y'all do all the time anyway? Whatever. Hello? It's me, Makoto. Were you sleeping? Yeah, I was trying to sleep. Why you called me so early? I'm still asleep. Now I was. I'm probably half asleep now. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, you better be. What the heck? There's something I feel I should let you know. Kanashiro contacted me. Oh? Kanashiro? He said he's calling off our debt. It seems he's disposed of all the photographs as well. Oh, I'm assuming we put it on speakerphone, I'm like, how, how are we hearing this? Like, our phone's over here, like... What the... And, um... My sister and her team have taken him into custody. Well, that's good. What? But... Dang, no... No live news feed or anything? Dang. It appears they did not want him to... Disappear, if you know what I mean. Is there a Phantom Thief magician in our midst? No, it's maybe not. Mafia after all. I wouldn't put silencing him past them. Does this mean we were successful in changing his heart? Most likely, I mean... It's hard to say for sure yet. How is it hard to say? He literally, like, called off our debts, deleted the pictures, turned himself in, like, what up? Yeah, he's, yeah. I see. What about those psychotic breakdowns that Kanashiro mentioned? I don't know. I'm not sure. But I assume he was talking about the incidents that have been all over the news lately. It really may be related to the other person who has been entering palaces. True. That said, all we can do now is wait until Kanashiro's change of heart becomes clear to us. Thank you. Okay, see you, Makoto. Thanks for waking me up early. Jesus. Guess I have to get to Saturday school anyway. Why is this a thing in Japan? Hi, everyone. Let's get started with class. How far did we go last time? That's your job to remember. What the heck? You were grueling Kawakami. Is this on? Ms. Chono. Please come to the faculty office at once. What could this be? I'm off to the faculty office, so make sure you study on your own. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Don't think anybody is, but... Yeah, Kawakami. Helping us out again. Uh, we're gonna read, actually, today. We're gonna finish this book up. It's been a while since we read it, so tips from the famous pickup artist. Yeah. Well, let's finish it so we never have to read it again. The XYZs of applying pickup techniques. Keep looking smooth even if you drop the ball. Mm. The picture of the author. That smug grin just irritates me. Well. Oh. Yeah, we finished reading it. Morgana, pretty cool. It was just a sleazy book about picking up girls. But it did have some good tips on being charming. Mm. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I've never read one, so I can't back it up or not ah. the teacher's back she hasn't even entered the door what the Morgana you're psychic maybe you saw her from the window I don't know what could that have been about let's resume class okay yep. you that was close Kawakami help us get a good chunk of free time though I mean yeah she's being helpful surprised she didn't just do it once, but I guess we've hung out with her enough that, I don't know, maybe. I think you may know this already, but I've been ordered by Principal Kabayakawa to look for the culprits. 
Is he on to us? You're one of them now too. We seem to be fine for now, but we can't let our guard down. I ask that you try not to stand out for a while. By the way, I usually spend my time in the student council room. If there's ever an emergency, feel free to come and find me there. And we have a bunch of messages, oh my god. Um... Well, it's all of our other party members, but um... Still his... <coughs> still catchy back here. Uh... Since we got that text from Makoto, we might as well head up. You didn't see anything, Ryuji. Oh god. I always forget where the student council room is, so... This might as well- this might help me. This is the faculty office, right? I'm not- Oh yeah, this is the Maruki and- Yeah, that's the faculty office. See, I remember some stuff. Uh, I'm sure you're fine. <laughs> the faculty office... Was it down- I know it's one of the corner rooms somewhere. That's the art room. If Yusuke went to this school... Oh boy. Wait, is this the- wait. What is this? Oh, that's- yeah, 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 that's his, okay. I'm pretty sure it's on the- It's probably on the first floor, actually, now that I think about it. Like, that would make a lot more sense, right? At least for Japanese schools. Oh no, is it on the third floor? It is on the third floor, that's kind of... It's kind of weird. Because I think on the third floor, it's like all the first years, right? Because they have to walk up all the way. Then on the second floor, second years, and then the first floor is third years. At least that's how I thought it was. But yeah, anyway, enough of me rambling like a dummy. We're going to hang out with Makoto. Hey. That said, all we can do now is wait until Kanashiro's change of heart becomes clear to us. Hmm? Do you need something on the third floor? Have you come to the study in the library, perhaps? I'm not that good of a student, Makoto. Um, I came to see you. Do you have a minute? It seems your studies have paid off. Have you been working hard? And since we have enough knowledge to hang out with Makoto... Oh, we can. There's something I want to ask you. If it doesn't get in the way of your studies, that is. I can lend an ear. Thank you very much. Now then, let's find somewhere better to talk. The courtyard should do. Uh, sure. Like to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? It's funny that she brought us here. But yeah, I have a moment. What's up? Up until now, I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. And I don't mean that in a boasting way. That's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san. Or Kanashiro. Okay, the Suzui part makes sense, but like, you you literally fought against him. You, you made an impact, girl. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. You're doing your part, I... I but okay. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. Um, yeah, what do you plan on doing? My first step will be to learn more about the other students. I mean, that's a start, that's good. But I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. Yeah, you're kind of weird, Makoto, kind of like the rest of us, but I'm sure you're fine. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie to her, like, come on. Yeah, you're right. I knew it. It's fine, though. I don't even know where people like to go for fun. Uh, well, me and Ryuji go eat ramen, and we go to the sketchy gym where we found the mafia. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. Ana and I literally just go to the park all day. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way, I just want to know them as people. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. 
Well, I'm glad you understand that, Jesus. Now, back to the topic at hand. Back to me. Where do people usually go for fun? Oh, or I guess other people, sorry. Uh... I mean... All of these places, really, but, uh... I'm a gamer, so... I don't, there's not even an arcade in my town, so I, but I'm gonna pick this. Uh, I often hear people talking about going to the arcade. To be perfectly honest, I've never been to one myself. They're pretty fun. I don't know how they'd hold up now that I'm 24, but... Do you think you could take me? I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons, per se, but simply studying won't get me anywhere. Uh, it'll be a field trip, Makoto. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. Well, let's get going. Oh, we're doing this now. Oh, okay. We're going to the arcade with Makoto. Uh, I guess I have to win her a stuffed animal or something. Nah, that probably won't happen, will it? So, this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. Not everyone, just the gamers. There are more girls here than I expected. Because they like the gamers. They understand how rep repressed we are as a group. Over there. You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. Hmm. Uh, wanna try? I if it's okay with you, do you think you could teach me? I mean, a thing or two. It, it ain't no... JRPG, but good job, Makoto. Makoto's loud play is garnering quite a bit of attention. She seems to be too engrossed in the game to even notice, though. Oh, so this is how it is. Uh, <laughs> we gotta. We will recruit her for the cause. Some of the techniques I learned here during battle. Maybe. That might just work. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. I, I guess. I don't I know. know. It may only be a little bit. But I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. What do you normally do? Just study 24 7? Like, what the heck? Do you not have hobbies? Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. Um, yeah, you have, you have more to learn, like, we can go other places, too, hey. if you want. Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? Of course. I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. Only if it aligns with my very complex schedule, but yeah, I'll try to help you out as much as I can, Makoto. Yeah, I look forward to it. It'd be fun. I need to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. Because that's a strong resolve for Makoto. Oh god, Sai's not going to be happy. <laughs> I, have a, I have a gut feeling. Why were you with my sister, goddammit? There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. Well, yeah. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. Uh, yeah, Morgana, maybe? Isn't that right? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Priestess Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. And with that, we unlock the Priestess Confidant. Shadow Calculus. I never want to do that. Allows you to see skills and potential item drops on the analysis screen. I guess that's good to do before a holdup, but it's like... I don't really care. By the way, 
You went to the red light district when you were chasing after Kanashiro, right? Uh, yeah. I'd like to go there as well. No, n not for my own purposes. Huh? To tell you the truth, I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. Okay, we're not going to spy on people, Makoto. That's not what this is. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. No. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. Fine. Thank you. Thanks for setting aside some time for me today. It's always hard for me to come to places like this on my own. So you've been a big help. I've had all kinds of new experiences today. And it's even been a little bit fun. Um, let's go again sometime. I don't want to go to the red light district. Good idea. After all, there's clearly, clearly plenty more I can learn there. But right before that, we should... Go to the red light district. Like we discussed before. I don't want my code. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to keep you. Careful on your way home. I'll call you later. Okay, bye, Makoto. See ya. Well, that was fun. Uh, you're back. I guess. Uh, kind of weird. Inmate. I trust you haven't forgotten about your special assignment. No, I haven't. We will be waiting in front of our door. We expect you to accept this task with enthusiasm. Yeah, about that. Not gonna do it. Hey, you see the article? Is it about us? Not really. It's mostly an interview with a Shujin kid. Boy M tells all. Rampant abuse in the Kamashita case. That's what it said. It's mostly about the physical punishment. You think the Boy M is Mishima? <laughs> Uh, dude, I don't know, it could be, like, hmm, maybe I'm just imagining things. But who else has an M name and was getting abused by Kamoshida? Dude, I don't know. It's probably fine to leave him be. He ain't doing us any harm. See you later. That article, do you think the reporter we met at Crossroads could have written it? Oh, it probably is Mashima. I'm dumb. I should check the article read you mentioned. Just as I thought. The author is listed as Ichigo Oya. I see. This article might end up being useful for us. Well, at least he's not going out of his way to uh, get interviewed. Um, I wonder what he thinks of Oya. But yeah, how, how is this going to be the useful? ruler sees it, and his cognition of the Phantom Thieves changes... Hey, we'd be missing out if we didn't use this to our advantage. We have her paint us in a positive light. Public opinion of us will change for the better. Okay, I can see that part, but Kama we've dealt with Kamashita. Like, who's gonna read that? You know what? Never mind. You should go try and get her to write some more articles about the Phantom Thieves. Uh, we got Mashima for that. It's fine. Um, who else messages us? <laughs> oh sh. Yeah, that's a mood right there. Anyway. <laughs> I gotta use that more. I like I like having that as a hotkey now. Anyway. Uh, sorry, what were we doing? Oh yeah. Instead of hanging out with a reporter, we're gonna hang out with our teacher instead. Hi. Thank you for your call. I'm all your- Oh, it's just you. You know, I've been hearing Shibuya's getting more dangerous lately. I'm sure you pass by that area on your commute to school, but don't make too many detours, okay? Okay, mom. As long as you request me, I'll do your housework for just 5,000 yen. <laughs> and thanks to Jigoku then. You know, the defense master persona. <laughs> we can hang out with Kami. And dip more into our funds. Oh well. Then I'll head over. Okay, I'll get dropped off from the store then. Please clean up your room and wait for me. Yeah, whatever. Hell, Kami seems happy that I requested her. 
Is it my imagination or does she not look well? And yeah, this is just a hangout. Nothing. See you later then. Okay. Bye, Cal. Call me. Stay healthy. God, don't overwork yourself, Jesus. But it's a new day. Yes, it is. I have a question regarding that red light district issue. Remember how I told you I wanted to go there? Well, how does today- No. I'm unfamiliar with the area, so I was hoping you would be able to guide me around. Can you make time for it? I'm eating now. Maybe I should respond to Kodo later. Yo. I'm gonna be open shop soon. So I'll need you to do some dishes once you're done with that. Okay, Dad. Fine. Hey. I guess we can respond once the dishes are done. All in and tea. Attic's still dusty. Worst 50 bucks I've ever spent. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. I'm trying to think of anything else that was worse than that, but... At least in my life, but yeah. It's never... Maybe it's just so dusty that she can't get it cleaned, like... She'll clean land area, and then the dust will migrate over to a new one anyway. Make sure you thank the chief for breakfast, okay? I always do, Morgana. Stop reminding me to go to sleep. Thank people. Ooh, I'm not a three-year-old, Morgana. Jesus. Well, then. That reminds me. Home shopping. Shut up, Morgana. You stay here. I don't want any more home shopping crap. We're never doing it. Run. Run as far away from any TV. No, but, um... What we're gonna be doing today, since it's Sunday, of course, we're, gro we're growing. Well, our stats will be growing, but we're going to the underground walkway to get some fresh juice and made with bitter melon. It takes guts to drink this terrifying mixture. Well, I'd probably drink in worse. Good job, I was watching you try so hard and almost kill yourself for a s silly little stat upgrade. And again, dipping f How is this worth $50? Like, who would come here? Anyway. Alan, you're healthy, let's go somewhere else. Uh, I agree with you. Oops, wrong button. Let's, uh, keep going around town and... Oh, we're gonna go to the airsoft shop, cause... Did you, Did you just teleport in here? Oh, whatever, just whatever. Do you need something? <laughs> um, we're not gonna talk to him about the bag just yet. Instead, okay. we're gonna sell our treasure because we do need the money. Why? While we're here, uh, come again. if you're done go here, go home. This ain't no place for kids to be hanging around. Okay. Oh, well, we're not going home. There's also one other thing I kind of want to do today. And it just happens to be here. Whatever, I'm just coming inside. I guess I do have to talk to you, but... I want to do a challenge battle, since we're not gonna be doing palaces that much for a bit. Thought... Eat minus? I did not want to talk to E. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do a special battle. For this one, we're gonna do level 20. And if I can see the... Oh. Wait, what is this? A belt that helps its wear knocked anything. Okay. Dodge ice. That's not bad. Silver lump. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you what... Actually, yeah. I, I want to at least show off who I'm using. So this battle... Um... Features around Yusuke... And basically, it's him knocking down an opponent or nuke damage. So I went ahead and put the nuke ring, or whatever the heck it's actually called, onto Yusuke. And now we're gonna attempt to do this on the first try. I've tried it. We didn't even get to 28k. Disappointing inmate. Oh wait, we did. Oh wait, no we didn't. Whatever. I'll just wait till I'm level 30, it's fine. You have met the minimum requirements. Barely. 
Actually, that wasn't too bad. We got something we could just go sell. So I'm down. Uh, Makoto, yeah, let's... <sighs> Wait, are we going with Makoto today? I can't even remember. No, yeah, we are. It's Makoto day. And thanks to Silky, that's why I got Silky in the palace. Like I said, just do that. Or I guess you could go to the Velvet Room and not do a challenge battle, but yeah, let's... Let's go hang out with Makoto. Oh, and make sure you come dressed in normal clothes, okay? Yeah, sure, we learned from Ryuji. Well, I guess I can go take a walk around the station while you're doing stuff. Hmm. There's so many people here. I guess this really is the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? Apparently this place was a hotbed for criminals and illegal immigrants before they installed surveillance cameras. What? How long ago was that? I heard there were quite a few brothels as well. Have you... Oh, I thought it said, have you ever been to one? I was like, um, why would you ask that? Yes. Well, I heard a great deal about it from my father. This is the first time I've actually been here myself, though. Dang, you really were sheltered. Holy crap. Regardless, it's become far safer now than it used to be. Of course the surveillance cameras played a substantial role in that. Well, I would think so, that... Uh, how did this place not... You know what, whatever. But it was mainly thanks to the police efforts to cle clean up the area. But... Even so, there's no way to eradicate crime entirely. It seems the operations nowadays are only better hidden. Shall we go? Anyway, seeing is believing, yes? Come on, let's have a look around. So are we going to the brothel with Makoto? At Makoto's request, we walked separately through Shinjuku. Countless men tried to start conversations with her, but not me. <laughs> Did we lose him? The guy was so persistent. Oh my. He must have been a scout for a hostess club. He mentioned how his girls get paid a lot to wear cute dresses. All I wanted to do was ask if any Shujin students worked there. But he clearly dragged me inside with him. Oh, he nearly. Oh. I mean, it would be one way to find out if they did, but... If you hadn't been there to rescue me, I... You know what? It's no thing, Makoto, but it was kind of dangerous, not gonna lie. Yes. For him, maybe. I thought I was going to have to knock him out. I'm glad nobody had to get hurt, though. Oh yeah, she does do Aikido, huh? Hmm. I guess that's how they do it. I've learned something new today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, and thanks again. It seems you have a knack for helping me out. I hope I can do the same for you someday. You already have. You kind of helped us beat Kanashiro, but... Reese's rank 2. For that, we get nothing. Woohoo. All right. Anyway. Hmm. That aside, even though there is a shopping district, there are are absolutely no students around here. And definitely no Shujin students. Though I guess they wouldn't come in uniform either way. I mean, if it was Ryuji, we'd spot him, but... Well then. Hmm? What's up? Oh yeah, nice graffiti, huh? Ahaz. Oh, uh, is that not what we're looking at? Okay. That was... Did you notice this? I used to be in the same class as her. But this is... Why, sh why is she here? What? What is this place? The after-school salon? Uh... Why is it called... Maybe it's a salon, but why would it be open 24 hours? Yeah, what kind of place is this? I mean, Makoto doesn't know either, probably. Mm. I'm not sure, but it seems suspicious. I'll have to ask her about it. Oh. And I'd like you to be there, too, as my witness. Would that be okay? This isn't a... This isn't a courtroom. <laughs> well, we spent quite a bit of time here. Let's head back to the station. Okay, All see? Right, then. Thank you for today. It's no problem, I mean... Weird. It was weird, that's, that's what it was. But what's up? 
per usual, somebody's calling me right before I go inside, so... You know, I wonder if Sojiro's just in there, like... How thick is this glass? He can probably hear us, right? Hey, um, I want to thank you again for tagging along today. That was the first time I've ever had to deal with a Barker. Is that what they're called? I never knew that. I didn't know they could be that persistent. The day was exhausting, but I also learned a lot. I guess nothing beats practical experience. Couldn't agree more, Makoto. Honestly, I've realized I can't solve these problems on my own. It took what happened here today to make that clear. I also plan on looking into that Shujin student we saw there. It'd be great if you can help me with that sometime. For now, see you later. Okay, bye, Makoto. Got my water's already out. I'll get some more in like 15 minutes. It'll be fine. Some, someone my friend knows got blackmailed. Did someone really get kidnapped? Seriously, that's horrible. Apparently you can never shake them off. They said it's hell. I can't, I hear they get really aggressive. Are they talking about the Barkers or whatever? Like, ah, you're back. Yeah, I'm back, and as soon as I walk in again, here's some more text. You know, I've been curious. What's Kosei like? Is it filled with guys like Yusuke? You can ask him, he's in the group chat reunion. I imagine there are a lot of different people there. Now that you mention it, I have one very interesting classmate. She's a female shogi player. And seemingly quite the skilled one at that. Are you talking about Hifumi Togo? I remember hearing she's a student at Kosei. They say she's the most beautiful shogi player around right now. Dude, that sounds too good to be true. Give me some more info. I do not know much about her. She's not the kind of person to let others close to her. It sounds like she only focuses on her shogi pursuits, after all. It said she is a lone genius. However, I have heard she is commonly seen at the church over in Con Konda. For real, we gotta go! Reiji, you don't seem like the most, uh... The church, so it's probably Christian, right? There's Christianity in Japan, like 1%. You'll probably get struck down by a bolt of lightning if you're going for that ulterior motive. <laughs> that ain't it! This is for the Phantom Thieves! I mean, Shogi's a kind of bow, right? She's gotta know all sorts of insane strategies and stuff. Uh... That's quite the stretch. I mean, it's worth looking into, right? Churches are supposed to be holy. Don't do this, Ryushi. <laughs> Ugh. You guys gonna pay for this one day. Hey. You go spy on her for me. You could've texted me separately, Ryushi. Find out if she's really as cute as they say she is. Come on, man. Uh, let's ignore that idiot. Anyway, a shogi expert, huh? See, Morgana think is probably gonna say next. Oh uh, yeah, could be useful for the Phantom Thieves. And uh, then, meanwhile, everyone's not gonna read you for it. God. Striking an enemy with but a moment's inspiration, skillfully strategizing toward victory. Those might actually be good tactics to know for our work as the Phantom Thieves. I told you. You said she's at the church in Kondo, right? We should check it out when you have the time. And yeah, new place. Somehow we know how to magically get there, but um, Kondo. This historical district contains many famous shrines and churches. Reflect on your past, confess your regrets, and the path forward may become clear? Yo, this better not be Catherine level crap. All right. Anyway. Never mind. Oh my god, Morgana, shut up. And yeah, it is a. Uh, it is Sunday. That's the day of the sun. Might as well go hang out with, um. Gramps. I have a request for you, but it's not for my speech. I was invited to dinner by Dietman Matsushita. I was told to invite you as what? Really? Please let me know if you're free to attend. What do you say? Uh... 
Oh yeah, we don't need a, a sun persona. So we should be fine, right? Yeah. Let's head over. Thank you. I'll let him know. It'll be at a hotel in Shibuya. I'll send you the map. He faxes over us a, like a, a printout map. Okay, this is step one on how to get here. <clears throat> Take away. Kermode. Oh, is this? Oh, yeah, this is the guy who gave the. Kermode has been in and out of the hospital. I hear he's not going to run in the upcoming election. I see. He plans for his grandson, who's also in our party, to take his place. Yes. Unfortunately, this is all beyond me now. Yoshida. Hey. You have to keep eating. You're still grown, you know? I invited you along because I wanted to ask you something. What do you think about the Phantom Thieves? Why does everybody ask me this? You've heard of them, right? They've become quite popular as of late. I'd like to hear your honest opinion. As a young man, are you for or against them? I'm for them, because I am them. <laughs> That's a... You have a very adaptable way of thinking. Most people who want to get into politics are jealous of them. What about you? However, they manage to change hearts. I respect their behalf in crushing evil and saving the weak. Isn't that similar to what you advocate? You're right. I can't deny that, but that's not why I support them. I bet they're a group of young people. Oh god, Yoshi is on to us. Young people who have experienced cruelty and injustice. They bravely face the societal ills that plague our world without thinking of the consequences. Mm. Brave, yet pitiful, I suppose. Pitiful? What you talking about? <laughs> so the former Diet member who was disgraced by scandals is going to side of them, huh? Is this what you asked me here to speak to me about? No. The party has decided which candidates it will back in the various electoral zones. Mm -hmm. And... Please be him, please be him. One of our main candidates will represent this area. According to the party's election strategy. You have no chance of winning. Mm -hmm. Aww. So you're saying that I should give up my campaign to become a diet member? I won't beat around the bush. Drop out of the election and become my right-hand man. Won't be for naught. Put in a motion to have you reinstated as a party member. And I will perform an extensive investigation into your expense. Misappropriation accusations. What? Matsushita. God, yeah. You'd finally be able to clear your name. Think about it. He would, but... Then he'd have to run under them and probably say what they say. I don't... He could go either way, and I'd still be, like, happy for him. It's up to him, really. I'll see you again soon, Mr. Secretary. <sighs> he likely has an ulterior motive. If he, help he felt hopeful, he wouldn't ask me to not run for the diet. I expect he's trying to take advantage of me. That happens a lot in this world. I just noticed we're at the same buffet. God, we've been here three times now. Sorry, what were you saying, Yoshida? <laughs> what would you do at a time like this? Yo, I can't- I don't want to decide for you, dude. Like, I don't know. <laughs> That's a very philosophical approach. It's hard to believe that you're so young. Thank you. Thank you for telling me your honest opinion. Don't worry, I won't stop giving speeches. Above all, I wish to continue speaking with you. You have such a fresh outlook on the world. Oh, thanks, man. Feels like my bond is growing deeper. Sun Ring 6, oh my go. All right. Sadly, we don't get anything, but... It's all about the story. Let's finish up for today. Sorry I made you tag along. 
Dude, it's okay. That was fun. Okay, see you, Yoshida. Well, not fun, but we got to eat at a very expensive restaurant, so... We the ones taking advantage of? Or is it the diet members? Who knows? Sorry I made you tag along today. I'm sure you'll end up having to face something similar someday. So let me share my thoughts. When people come to you with these negotiations, you need to see what's really on the table. Is it pork? Is it chicken? Is there silverware most of all? <laughs> Do you see the offer as a risk or an opportunity? You'll have your own major decisions to make. In time, the most crucial thing is that you don't lose sight of who you are. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Good. It's important to listen to what other people say. But you can't let them overpower your own voice. I've let that happen, and look where it got me. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm getting a little too over worked up about this. Well then, till next time. Good night. Good night, Gramps. Dang. I wonder if he's gonna take the deal or not. 